And we are back with the man we've been waiting to talk to all morning. Ryan Reynolds is in our house. He's right here in his latest movie, Red Notice. Ryan stars as a quick-witted art thief who finds himself in an unlikely alliance with an FBI agent portrayed by Dwayne Johnson. And together, they team up against the Bishop, a rival criminal mastermind played by... Gal Gadot. And from the moment the movie starts, it's a race to pull off the world's biggest heist. Ryan, welcome, Hi, welcome. Ryan. How are you? It's very nice to be here. Well, we're so happy that you're here. I don't know if you know about this breaking news that happened mm. this morning, but People has crowned its sexiest man alive, and it is... Paul Not Rudd. Yet. Of course it is. I heard. I just heard about this this morning. Yeah, I'm, I'm very excited. I, I think that this opportunity will be wasted on him like so many before him. <laughs> He's going to play it shy. He's going to play it bashful, humble. If I n- know what I knew now, <laughs> yes. you know, I wouldn't do remember that. You've got to seize this opportunity. Yeah, when yeah. it was your, remember your moment? Yeah. Do you remember your reign? It, oh, if I got it now, yeah. I'm not saying I would leave my family, <laughs> but they would need to go on without me. Yeah. I would roam the world clutching my dog-eared People magazine, going from town to town, like some sowing my wild oats, like some sort of nude magical gardener. I mean, it would be amazing. I, nude l- magical let's gardener. Let's hope Paul is listening right now. I hope he is too. Don't blow this, Rod. <laughs> if you're there, do not blow this opportunity. Run you, like the wind. You know, you are a heartthrob yeah. on TikTok with um, straight men. Yes. Oh, well, they, okay. Apparently, it's like a that's, whole... That's going to get complicated. It's a then. whole thing yes. about how just all men love you. When oh. they pa- when you come on the this screen, they pause, they pause and they they gawk oh, a wow. little bit. This is a whole situation. <laughs> Did you really? know about this phenomenon? I Clearly, I need to work on gay men <laughs> as well. Yes. This is just straight men? Why straight? Why? Okay. Everybody. Oh, uh, yeah. You well. want to just be sexy it's, for everyone. Yes. I guess so, yeah. Um, we're, <laughs> we're both very excited about this movie. I had a chance to talk to The Rock a couple of days ago, and he said when you guys were on set together, you never broke. He said he was always this giggling guy, and you were doing what you do. Well, I was preying on him a little bit. I mean, he, DJ, I've known him for 20-plus yeah. years now, and he, uh, you know, he gets this little eye twitch when he's about to crack. So does Gall, actually, so... I would kind of exploit that and pounce on it. It was more uh, the spirit of competition than anything else. I would crack as well. He's not, that's not entirely true. Okay. I, would, I would crack as well. And when I get the gigs, I don't come back. <laughs> it's like, over. It's, no, it really is a problem. You sort of have to start to think of like dark thoughts or punch <laughs> yourself in the, give yourself a Charlie horse. It's terrible. <laughs> the, um, the movie is hilarious. I hate action movies and I loved this movie. Oh, good. Yeah. If you want to blurb that, go right ahead. Yeah. Um, no, but I, I, I heard that you actually improvised a lot of those yeah. lines. Because yeah, your character's I, like a bottomless pit of one-liners, yeah. which is kind of you. Yeah, you know, that's the, actually the beautiful thing about Dwayne Johnson is that he, he, one of his gifts is that he is an ability to laugh at himself. Yeah. And I also love that as well. That's yeah. sort of how I cope. Um, and so we had a lot of fun together. I would always, you know, try to say something that would surprise him or break him. or. You know. But were you surprised, like, a, a lot of the stuff ended up in the movie in the final cut? Stuff that you probably thought <laughs> was like... I was saying. I thought I was just doing it for his benefit. Yeah. And then I saw the film. I was like, you kept that in. <laughs> that, and you could see me about to laugh in the moment. So, yeah, but they did. I guess it worked. And you were so. writing sassy lines for Gall, too. Yeah. Yeah, I would. I tend to write a bunch of one line that people can either have or not have. It's up to them. So. Right. The action, yeah. the action comedy lane, man, is so tailor-made for you. Is that something you feel like you sort of had to create, I mean, for that to um, come to A be? little bit. Yeah. You know, for Deadpool, certainly. Yeah. It was like a lane that I had to sort of, you know, make happen for myself Mm -hmm. to a certain degree. I love it. I love being physical. I grew up as an athlete. I, you know, I love cracking jokes and having fun. You know, action action comedies are great because they never take themselves too seriously. So it's sort of a beautiful genre to play in. Nice little sandbox. You're also an entrepreneur. You're in the gin business. I am. Right? Very much so. You are um, the owner of a football team. What Uh, we would call soccer. Well, yes. Yes. In in Wales, the Wrexham Red Dragons, yeah. I yeah. mean, the Wall Street Journal did a whole thing on the whole business side of you, which is this other cool side. Um, is this something, like, you always wanted to kind of dig into? A little bit. Yeah. You know, so many of these businesses are a lot like show business in the sense yeah. that they're built on relationships. They're all relationships. So, 
you know, you're, you're meeting, you're shaking hands. 90% of the work is the unsexy stuff, not the yeah. commercials and yeah. marketing stuff. Yeah. It's the other stuff that you do. But I like building things. I love mm -hmm. that, that part of storytelling is really a, a privilege to do. So. How's Blake, by the way? She is great. <laughs> Kids are great. <laughs> are Everybody's ha I'm happy to be home. We, well, we were laughing. I just, I'm sorry. I love your Instagram for a million reasons. And sometimes when I'm in a funk, I'll just go to it. But I love one of the ones. I think it was Blake's birthday. I can't remember. And the picture that you posted was all you looking all dapper and adorable and oh half <laughs> and they were all sort of <laughs> like like half blink way. shots of her like in the middle of you're, chewing food you're, and, you know. you're an internet troll yeah a little bit yeah. <laughs> yeah but only when it comes to those most precious to me <laughs> yeah yeah. What's it like at home because you yeah. have three girls yes. under six yeah six it's, five it's, and two yeah it's that, mayhem you know yes it's absolute mayhem you're just every day clinging by the you know skin of your teeth what's funny though is you actually grew up it was all boys all in your boys. household, plus yeah. Yes, yes. And now you're in this girl situation. I'm the youngest of four boys. Yeah. So, you know, oftentimes, you know, my brothers would, would, would never use the door. They'd use me to make a new door. <laughs> it was, it, so I was always afraid I would have boys. But yeah. now that I have girls, I realized I, I should not have been afraid. I should have wanted boys as well. They're, <laughs> yeah. they're, they're just as rough. Yeah, they're they can be. They can be. Ryan, yeah. thank you so much. Uh, this movie's great, by the way. Thank a lot you. of fun, It really too. is. Yeah. It's fun. Thank you. Thank you guys All for Red having. Notice Appreciate in select theaters now. You can also start streaming it on Netflix this Friday. Great date night movie. Indeed. Yeah, yeah you're right. Fun we one. We'll all like it. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.